up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot, and thank you for joining us for this brand new pistol review, the LCP Max. Uh, super excited to bring this to you guys. We'll do a little bit of comparison with the LCP2, and then we will do a separate comparison between the two as well. The video you watched before this video is from the USCCA. If you are a law-abiding gun owner in the United States, check them out with the link down below and see all of the benefits they offer to you guys. And to our patrons, we appreciate your support. And Ruger, we appreciate your support. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you like, follow, and share. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video if you found it entertaining or liked it at all. Let's go ahead and get going. So with the gun, you are going to get a cardboard box. Nothing special there. You're going to get a holster very similar to the LCP2 style. Actually, most of your holsters and stuff that fit the LCP2 are going to fit this one. They are strikingly close, which is impressive considering the LCP2 is six rounds. This one is 10, and then you also have an extended 12-round magazine to go in this sucker. So it is incredible to say the least. So let's go over the features here. Right now I have the standard base plate 10-round magazine in the gun. And then if we pop the extended one in there, that's what it looks like. They extended the grip texturing. And then, of course, you get two more rounds. And I can get all of my fingers on this gun, which is incredible because the LCP-2 and the LCP, the original one, are known for being small backup type of guns. This one can pretty much almost be in that primary duty type of role with the amount of rounds that you're given. Uh, incredible. All right, so let's walk around the gun. So you have front and rear slide serrations, very similar again to Ruger styling there. Um, you have your slide stop here in the rear, takedown pin right here. Of course, the trigger very, feels very similar to the LCP2. I'll show you that after the shooting part of the review. One huge improvement on this gun is they actually gave you a real set of sights now. So you have a blacked out rear serrated sight, and then in the front you have a tritium night sight with a bright green option. Uh, it is an amazing stark contrast between this and the milled sights of the LCP2. Um, again, a lot of these differences I'll show you in that comparison. On the other side, you have this uh, nice stippling that Ruger's been doing now on these guns, front, rear, and back, um, pretty much all the way around where you need it. And even with the 10-round mag, I'm able to comfortably get two fingers on the grip. Very nice. Magazine release right here. All right. The slide, it's, it's not as easy as like a Shield EZ, but it's not as bad as something like some of the smaller 9 millimeters that are in this category, this micro conceal carry uh, market um, so not too bad there as far as getting the rounds chambered I will say whenever we were whenever we were filming the mags at the range uh, getting that last round in there is kind of a bear so you definitely want to have some kind of loader to assist you in that task um, other than that it's pretty much like an LCP2 which I happen to have one here all right so let's look at them just side by side really quick and you will notice that there is not a huge difference a little bit in the width so on the lcp uh, max the width is 0.93 length is 2.8 overall length 5.1 10.6 ounces and 4.12 inches high check that out six rounds 10 rounds boom there you go all right, so a little sneak peek there with the LCP2. How about the Ruger Max 9, all right, which is a uh, another recent offering that they've actually brought to the table. Now, this one does have a uh, one of the extended mags in it as well. But when you look at the Max 9 compared to the LCP Max, you start to realize where the LCP Max really shines. Check that out. Max 9 is, you know, it's kind of middle of the road when it comes to the micro nine millimeters look how it just dwarfs the uh, lcp max it's incredible widths if we put them on their back check that out right there so pretty amazing let me put the extended in here so we can get a little bit of a more fair comparison there so there you go all right pretty amazing what ruger was able to do with the lcp max so let me break it down here really quick then we'll hit the range so you have this little takedown pin uh Lock your slide back to the rear. 
Just be careful. Get your knife in behind there. There's a nice little lip where you can do this. All right, and then your pin just kind of pops out just like that. Slide's going to come off. You have a non-captive dual spring set up here. It is a metal guide rod, which is nice. Just make sure you watch that, uh, watch that guide rod there. And if I look at this, for a second I thought there was almost two springs there. Okay, so there's your guide rails right there. And then internally, there's your barrel. You have this kind of Ruger patented design right there. Of course, this one's in 380. And then it is an internal hammer system uh, as well. But as you can see, there's your hammer right there, and it's going to strike the back of the firing pin right there. So that's how they were able to get a better trigger pull than what used to be on the old LCP. By the way, if you're wondering, I did cut myself as I was trying to get that, uh, that uh, pin out of there. So lock it back to the rear take your pin there's a little uh, little detent little spring right there you're just gonna basically push down on that as you push it in super simple to do as far as your breakdown um, as you would expect on any modern gun now one interesting thing that they did and I I just kind of noticed this really which is really good actually I actually like this so if you check out the LCP2 all right it's pretty much a flat area back here but on the LCP Max, they actually added somewhat of a wing. Of course, we'll take up close pictures for you. Just to give you a little bit better grip on this thing as you're uh, charging up that slide. So that is a really nice little ad addition. I mean, and really, I have not noticed it until just now. So I'm glad I did. So that, along with the increased capacity and, of course, the, uh, the better sights, man, this thing... Uh, is pretty impressive. Reversible magazine release too, by the way. Fits most of your holsters, all of that kind of stuff. They actually um, improved the, the feeding lips and the ramp extractor and the barrel uh, according to Ruger as well. So um, the finish, by the way, is a black oxide. The material is an alloy steel and then you have glass filled nylon as far as the, uh, as the lower there. So let's hit the range and then after we get back, we'll actually talk about the pros and cons. I'll show you the trigger and we will end the video out. That's a lot better than that other one. That's nice. Got some felt recoil. That trigger is not super comfortable.
All right, so hopefully y'all enjoyed that, man. This gun is an absolute, absolutely, I can say right here, right now, is a better shooter than the LCP2. It's a more comfortable gun to hold in the hand, and uh, the recoil impulse is not nearly as significant because I have more to hold on to. Um, I'll touch a little bit more on that in the comparison, but as far as this review, just know it is a better shooting gun, a better handling gun at the range. And that was definitely a nice thing because I hated shooting the LCP2, even for just, you know, reviews or just to make sure I'm still on point with it because I do carry it from time to time. Um, so that's definitely a good thing. So I definitely wanted to um, bring that to your attention. The sights are much better as well. And that's a huge confidence booster. I think I was out at about... Uh, 10 yards there. You don't see Mrs. Tech shot. She wasn't feeling too good that day. So that's why you don't see her in the videos. But uh, she will be returning very soon, I can assure you. So yeah, that's as far as I can tell you. It's at the range, no issues. I was running pretty much hollow points too, by the way, because it's pretty hard to find a 380 ball in my area. Let me show you the trigger here. Let me show you the trigger here. Very similar to the LCP2. Again, you have an internal hammer, a uh, little dingus right there. You're going to come to a wall. And it breaks. It has kind of a plasticky type of feel to it almost. Or that springy type of thing. You can really hear that hammer. Not really plasticky, but you could just hear the force in that hammer. So let me just check the weight on it. It feels like it's got some good amount of weight to it, so. Five pounds, nine ounces. Let's try it again. Five pounds, 13 ounces. So we'll go with that. We'll go with under six pounds for sure, which I think is pretty decent for a uh, for a carry gun, no doubt. What about carrying the actual gun? This thing is amazing. I mean, load it up to capacity, put it in a pocket holster like this, an inside the waistband holster. It does fit in the urban carry holster that I have too, by the way, if you were curious about that. Um, and it's nice that they made it to where it's going to fit with most of your existing LCP2 holsters. Very good move there. Um, it's it's different enough, but it's not so different that you know you can't accommodate those those holsters, which is a good thing. And it is just as easy as, to carry as an LCP2 with that added benefit. So pros, obviously the sights. The trigger is decent. It's not too bad. Grip texturing, the increased capacity. These little charging ears on the back are fantastic. Overall, I am more confident carrying this as a primary gun as I ever was, way more so than I ever was with the LCP-2. Uh, this to me is a good, decent primary carry gun. If you want something super small, super light, um, it, whatever the reason may be that you don't want to go with a 9mm or can't go with a 9mm or go with a bigger gun because you've seen the difference there in the size, this is an amazing alternative. And really, this would be a great comparison against the uh, Glock 42. I really need to do that, although I think it's kind of unfair at this point. Um, and even compared to the Glock 42, just in this current state, uh, I would much rather carry this because of the increased capacity. Uh, which to me, the Glock 42 had always been like the uh, uh, one of the best, if not best, 380s on the market. This right here is definitely better just because of that capacity. Very familiar with it because it's a Ruger and it feels just like the LCP2. Uh, as far as the cons, again, I'm not a fan of their slide serrations. Um, I'm more of a fan of what they did back here. It actually gives you a better bite than any of the serrations they've ever done right here. Um, the little takedown pin, again, I wish they would just figure out a way to get a lever in there. Um, and other than that, there's really not a lot to complain about. These are going to be more on the budget side, so that's a good thing. I, I really like it, man. I like it as a, as a primary or as a backup. Um, I think it's become more of a viable option than it ever has been the LCP Max. What an awesome decision from Ruger to do this. I absolutely love this thing. So there's my opinion on it. Let me know what yours is down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Again, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.